Hey guys, Project Zodiac here. I'm back with another video. And this is another uh, movie review. I actually just left the theater, literally right now. Um, and this is going to be a pretty quick video. I don't have so much to say about this particular movie, but I wanted to do a little review for it. Just because uh, I love Nintendo and um, a lot of their games. Uh, particularly The Legend of Zelda, uh, Xenoblade, uh, Pokemon, Donkey Kong, things like that. Uh, F-Zero as well. Uh, but as you guys can tell from the title and as I just mentioned Nintendo, I just saw the Super Mario Brothers movie and I was actually pretty excited for this movie and you know probably not as much as so many other people. I personally prefer that we would have gotten a Zelda movie but um I was still kind of excited for this movie and yeah I'm not really gonna go into any spoilers I won't have so much to say um it's gonna be pretty quick I honestly think that this movie was pretty fun um again I wasn't I'm, I've never really been like a a Mario like Super Mario fan um I just like whenever a new game comes out for Mario I'm like oh, okay that's gonna be cool um so it's not very something that I'm like super hyped up about um uh, and you know I'll play some of them I won't buy all of them but every now and then I'll, I'll play some of some of the Mario games and they're they're fun but um so yeah that's kind of how I felt watching this movie it was a fun movie and you can tell there was so much care and passion put into this movie there was a lot of um like so many easter eggs and especially with the sound design the sound design uh was pretty good especially the music the music was really really good again i'm trying to put like my the way i i enjoy mario to the side just because again i'm also not a huge fan of the music but the music in mario is iconic in general and they did a pretty good job uh translating that into like a orchestra type thing I just my complaint with that with the music is that as much as I like like the main theme the uh, dungeon theme and the uh, the the star power up theme um, just I like those sounds so much but I personally think that they went way too heavy with the orchestra aspect I think it could have been more similar to the games. Uh, so it, it definitely like was stretched out the, the music which I didn't like that too much because again like you could hear like the little notes but then it'll be like this long thing in the middle and then it's like the little notes and it's like dude just get, let us hear the the actual iconic music rather than little sections here and there throughout like the orchestra piece of it but again the orchestra piece of it was done really really well so I'm not saying it's bad music it's just how I am with Mario music in general um, so yeah, and like how I wish they would have handled the, uh, the, the iconic Mario music, it, you know, so I'm, I'm trying to put that aside because they still did a really good job in creating that music. Now, the next thing I kind of wanted to talk about was the animation was fantastic. Um, and they actually did something that I kind of always thought about. I'm like, wow, how is Mario and Luigi like in the lore from New York? but they're in the Mushroom Kingdom and they kind of show you how that happens. Um, and also one thing that I was, I, I mean, I kind of agree with everyone, uh, Chris Pratt as being Mario, I don't think that that was a good idea, but I will say this, now after watching the movie, they actually do address that at the very start of the movie. It's literally like, uh, I don't know, like in five minutes into the movie maybe like six minutes into the movie something like that they, they address it and after I saw that and they addressed it I'm like okay and I accept that that is fine that's a perfect way to address that and it just makes sense um, I, I'm not gonna really go into spoilers about that but they address it and um, I will also say the actual voice actor of Mario does have some lines um, I, I don't want to go too much into that. Um, it's, yeah, it, he has some lines. And I, I, I like what they did, so I'm like, okay, at least they're respecting him. 
Um, so again, that's all I'm going to say about that. I also think that all the characters were pretty good. Uh, my favorite character, though, is definitely Donkey Kong, even though um, I forgot his voice actor. I think it's Seth Rogen, I think his name. Um, it's just him, and he's literally a frat boy, <laughs> like, you know, being in college and all that. I mean, I, I don't go to those parties. Um, I'm, I'm also just studying remote, but... Uh, you know like having friends that go to parties and haven't been to some of those parties i'm like dude you're just a straight out frat boy <laughs> like like look at donkey kong he's just a straight out frat boy um but he was pretty cool though uh donkey kong had some of the best lines in the movie and so yeah donkey kong has some of the best lines in the movie don't really like his facial design that they went with but i got used to it pretty quickly and I'm not going to say this as a spoiler, but the other character that had some of the best lines is this blue little star. And you, when you see that blue little star, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. I love that blue little star. Um, so yeah, Donkey Kong and that blue little star. Um, there wasn't a lot of, you know, shock or surprise. I feel like the trailers kind of ruined a lot of the big surprises of the movie, to be honest. And that's kind of why... I kind of am not having really been watching more than like one trailer because I feel for like movies recently just because I feel like the trailers are just spoiling everything um so yeah overall I just think that it was pretty good um they also addressed Peach which as I was watching the movie I'm like wait why is Peach a human which is something I kind of thought about growing up but I never really thought too much about it until I was watching this movie I'm like wait a minute like they should address this right because they're addressing all these other things and they do so they, they kind of do address why peach is a human and i really like that as well uh one big complaint of mine is they do not have donkey kong's island and i was so upset about that um you do see where donkey kong is from but you don't see his island um so i wish that they had included that um also Cranky says that Donkey Kong is his son, but according to the lore, Donkey Kong is Cranky's grandson, if I understand that correctly. So, don't know what Nintendo was doing with that one. Um, because again, Donkey Kong's supposed to be Cranky Kong's son. Again, from my understanding. But uh, yeah, there was a lot of references to the history in general of Mario, and there was some amazing scenes where it's literally like... 2d and you know mario doing a 2d platformer um and it was just so cool so nintendo definitely put so much care into this and you know i guess the only real last complaint i have is that it kind of also felt rushed and there was a lot of moments where it needed to be fast but it wasn't fast and it was lacking a lot of energy i also love that they included a little bit of super smash brothers and a little bit of mario kart um but I do wish that those was implemented a little bit longer and a little better. But again, other than those complaints, I thought that the movie was pretty cool. It was pretty enjoyable. Um, and yeah, it was just kind of fun. So um, yeah, definitely go watch it. Uh, Bowser was amazing. And Luigi was pretty cool as well, the voice acting. And Peach was pretty good too. Again, all the voice acting was good. And Mario's actual voice actor, I was able to accept it because they addressed it in the movie but yeah it was just a fun movie guys definitely go and watch it it's cute and you know it will support nintendo making the zelda movie um so hopefully they make that next but all right guys that's all i had to say rate come subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye